Okay, your arch just a little bit. Okay. So where does the stationary arm go? Perpendicular, Perpendicular to the floor. Okay, is that as far as you can raise your arm? Yeah. Without arching your back, yeah. Okay, and where does the other arm go? Long Long Longbow. Okay, so it should be like parallel? Mid though. Parallel, like right along with the humerus? Does so everybody see that? Right, yes. Okay, and so in her case we have our choices are our choices are about 143 versus like 50 something. 143. 143 because we know it's more than 90, right? Right. right. Okay. 90. Okay. So now, have you raised your trip to the side? Okay. So again, where does the, the um, stationary arm go? Perpendicular to the floor. And the other arm? Humerus. So does everybody see that alignment? Is that showing okay with the black shirt? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see what we have. So we know it's more than 90, yeah? Okay, so this time we got about 135. Okay. And then we'll do elbow flexion extension. Okay. This one. Okay, so we straight down. Are you bendy usually at? Yes. Yeah, hyperextension. So in this position, it doesn't really look hyperextended. Let's just go ahead and take her arm up and just see. Okay, so we see a little hyperextension there. So maybe gravity's kind of helping us a little bit. So ordinarily I would not measure, you know, my patient this way, but ordinarily my patient had a dislocated elbow, they wouldn't be having, you know, much extension, much less hyperextension. But if we wanted to measure this, where do the arms go? Yeah, the long bone and the humerus. The long bone and the humerus. So the humerus and? Okay, so that would be? The the radius. Radius or radius and ulna. Okay. So, you guys see that a little bit? Mm -hmm. Look good? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, is this a plus or a minus? Minus. So, we got a minus 15. That looked about like mm -hmm. a minus 15. I mean, you guys can kind of even eyeball the, the negatives right now, right? Uh -huh. Okay. But if, if I were just, you know, starting here, I would probably just go ahead and call that a zero. Yeah. Okay. So, thumb up and go ahead and flex your elbow. Okay, so arms again, lining up with the long bones, the, um, the upper arms, so lining up with the humerus and lining up with the uh, radius and ulna. Okay, so this number, more or less than 90? More than 90. More. Okay, and what's your best guess? What's it going to be? About 140, no, 160. Okay, so, so usually we say about 135, 145. Hers look like maybe 145 or more. Yeah. Actually, it was 140. Yeah. So this is why we get out the goniometer, because that eyeball thing works out some, sometimes, sometimes not. Okay, so that's our shoulder. Oh, you were trying to show me that we needed to do our internal, external. This yeah. is the right by it. Okay, so I doubt we'll edit this to go back and rearrange, but so our shoulder, internal, and external rotation, um, starting position. Uh, not every patient can get this starting position. Some patients may be able to get it more easily if there are lying on the table, which we could, you know, do as well. Okay, so if I have you go down, so which one's this? Internal, Internal rotation, and where do I want my stationary arm? Parallel. Parallel. Parallel to the floor. Okay, and then I'm going to line up on the forearm. Okay, so what about this number? More or less than 90? Less, less. less than 90. What's your best guess? 40. 40, okay, so we got about 47. Okay, all right, and then back up to the starting. Okay, so back up starting, okay, and then up. Okay, so what's this one? Whoa, wow. external. External. And is this one going to be more or less than 90? More. Okay, but this is very unusual. Uh, I think maybe one other person in our group. Okay, so again, we're going to go perpendicular to the floor. Okay, so, so see, this would be our 90 about here. Yeah. And so she, clearly she went beyond. 120, 30. 115. Yeah, Actually, not like 106. Oh. 106. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, we can still do, we can do um, pronation, supination, standing. Okay. So, so your pronation, supination, this is your starting position, right? Mm -hmm. This is your neutral. And as someone was pointing out today, 
We always put the goniometer on the ulnar side. Okay. So you want to show me palm up. Okay. And what do you see? It's close to 90. Okay. So you're doing that. You're doing hand thing. If I actually look at your forearm, we're like right at 90, but you're getting in those few extra degrees that really don't count with the hand. So we're looking at right on. It's right on 90. So stationary arm goes. Perpendicular to the floor, okay. And you don't have to, you don't have to get this right up against the flesh. In fact, this is one of the things that throws a lot of you guys off. You you, you get so fixed on this axis, and you put it in here, and then you're really not coming down like you need to. You could you could have this way out here, just so long as it's perpendicular to the floor, right? Okay. And you kind of want to contact about the middle, you know, I mean, at least half. That's about an inch, inch and a half contact there. Um, so when we do it this way, it's not going to be quite 90, even though it looks very 90-ish. It's like about 80. Okay. And then back to neutral. And then calm down. Okay, go ahead, calm down. Okay, so see again, you see, go ahead and show that tweak with your hand. You see how much more, see how that's hand? This is why, you, so, so her pencil is going to really give her freakishly, you know, like freakishly over 90 degrees. But really, looking at her forearm, her forearm is not over 90. Okay. So again, let's just, you know, come on out away from her so that you don't get yourself messed up that way. Sorry to get in front of the camera just there. Um, again, it's going to be a little less than 90. About 85 this time. Okay. So that's our shoulder, elbow, and um, forearm. Okay. So we already have a video on our wrist and thumb, which is not just flexion and extension, but also radial and palmar abduction. And so now we need to do some fingers, so we'll reorient over here to the table.